Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jade, also known as C Starbuck here on YouTube and Instagram. I make lecture related content every week, so if you're interested, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell button to get notified when I put out new content. So for today's video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So instead of Hermes, we're gonna take a look at my classic flat collection. Here I have four of my classic flaps all in different sizes and I wanted to do a quick comparison between the four sizes, kind of my use case for each size and my personal experience for each of the sizes. And we're going to go on to talk a little bit more about the current Chanel situation and what I think would be the best buy if you were to buy into Chanel right now. So with all further ado, let's get started with the comparison. So starting off, this is my Chanel Jumbo. This is one of the classic of the Chanel house. It's very big, as you can see, is my biggest Chanel classic flaps. Um, and this one I actually got quite recently. I didn't really like big bags before, so it wasn't really on my list of bags to get but I saw a couple of girls wearing it and they really kind of drew me towards the idea of adding one in my collection and I finally did um, last year. So I actually added this one after Chanel has changed their authentication system. So instead of having a physical card, this one has a um, metal plate that serves as a authentication method. Um, for this bag as well as the warranty. So this one is still under that two-year warranty Chanel now gives for any defaults and stuff like that. One thing that I found quite interesting was that the new Jumbos with the metal plates instead of the authentication card are actually a tiny tiny bit lighter. I don't know if they change the material they use or the supporting structure, which is a big bonus because this is such a big bag and it's quite hefty. So for this one, I usually like to wear a bit like a Gabrielle bag. So I wear them with one strap on each shoulder to kind of separate the weight of the bag. This is something I use a lot during the winter month because it really goes well with big coats. If you are wearing oversized things, this size just kind of work with and I love to travel with this bag as well because, as you can probably imagine, it fits a lot. Um, it's very roomy, there's lots of space on the inside. I'll show you guys. But as you can see, I have a bag insert again from 7RP. I get for all my Hermes bags and they finally made them for Chanel. So I started to get some of them for my Chanel bags. But I tend to find the Chanel bags quite durable, so I don't really care too much if the inside gets a bit damaged and um, I've had no issue with it so far but as you can see the inside is a beautiful kind of dark burgundy color and it has the metal plates there because it's a newer bag. Uh, it's a double flap. Um, the single flaps are older model of the Jumbo. You can still find them on the resale market. The single flaps definitely are lighter but I prefer the double flap because it gives the bag more structure. So moving on, this is my Chanel Classic flap in the classic medium size with gold hardware. So this one is actually my first ever Chanel bag I got in Hong Kong. My mom actually bought this for me when we visited Hong Kong and at the time I had two options. I remember I had this one and another color, I think maybe like a navy and I end up going with the black with gold hardware because it's the most classic combination and kind of timeless and was the exact combination I was looking for when we went into the boutique. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller than the Jumbo. Here, this is the Jumbo Classic Flap. This is the Medium Classic Flap. So you can see they're quite different in terms of size and they're definitely super different in terms of capacity. You'll see that the capacity of the bags I'm going to show you after are not that different. But these two is probably, this is probably the biggest size jump you're going to see in the classic flaps. So coming back to the medium classic flap. So this one, because I've owned it for quite a few years, I think, 
maybe like seven years, eight years since I've owned this bag or maybe a little bit more. It's definitely been a long-standing um, member of my handbag collection. This is one of those that I've managed to stay from the very beginning till now because it's just such a classic and easy to use bag. Like I can use it for any occasion, any time. It works great for daytime, it works great for formal events, works great for evening, like dining. It can pull it off. So this is, in my opinion, the most iconic size combination classic flap of Chanel. As you can see, because it's older, there is kind of creasing on the edges. I didn't really know how to take care of my handbags when I was young, so I didn't really stuff it or try to take care of it too, too much. Now I do have a, like a cushion that I put inside to kind of help with the structure of the bag. So similar to the jumbo you saw earlier, this one is also a double flap and the inside is also a burgundy color. Um, but because it's an older bag, it doesn't have the metal plate. Instead, it has a little authentication card. I won't show you the number, but it's basically like this. But yeah, this strap, I'm sure you, if you've done a little bit of research, if you've seen the classic flaps in person, you know that the straps are easily adjustable. This one you definitely cannot wear like the Gabrielle bag that I do with the Chanel Jumbo. Um, the, when you put it up like this with a double strap, you can only wear it on one shoulder or you can pull it all the way out and wear it crossbody. It is a bit short for crossbodying for me, but I still do it all the time. I am fine with it. It does get stuck a little bit awkwardly, but it's still manageable. I, again, same thing with the jumbo because it's also in caviar leather. It's very durable, not afraid of water, not afraid of practically anything. And this one has gone through like storms with me and it's come out perfectly fine. Just need to wipe it off, let it dry and nothing can happen to it. The hardware has also lasted gorgeously. I don't know if you guys can see the details, but it has really lasted super well. And I know some people say that the tip of their um, kind of turn lock gets worn out very quickly, but this one, I think because it's an older bag. It's actually worn really well and the metal part hasn't really changed color at all. None of the hardware part has. There's no tarnishing, there's absolutely nothing and it's in impeccable condition. In terms of use case, again, I can use it any time of the day for any event. If it's my phone, if it's my charger, makeup, just anything you could possibly think of that you're gonna need daily you can pretty much fit it in there so moving on this is my small chanel classic flap in a sage kind of color i i believe this is part of the 22c collection but it was the same collection where chanel actually came out with a very very light mint green classic flap and that was the one I was actually eyeing. And I went around in all of the Chanel boutiques in Paris, but I couldn't find anyone that had that exact bag. So when I went to the Le Bon Marché store, they had this one. I tried it on and I really just fell in love with the color. You can do some close-ups. It's a beautiful green color. And the hardwares are actually not a dark gold hardware, it's a like champagne gold hardware, which I think goes very well with the rest of the color of the bag. Again, here we can do a quick comparison. If you guys want to see a more in-depth comparison, do let me know so that we can put that on my list of to-dos here. Anyways, you can see that on the left here we have the classic flap. Uh, with gold hardware and this is champagne, I guess, gold hardware. So it is quite different and in terms of size, they're quite... I mean, there's a little bit of a difference for sure and the small one definitely fit less, but the difference um, in size is not as great as the difference between the jumbo and the medium. Inside of the bag, I can show you, because it's not a black Chanel bag, the inside is just kind of monochromatic, 
and matches with the rest of the bag. Again, it has two flaps. I have a bag insert to kind of help the shape of the bag. These ones, I get them from Asia. I do think you can order them on their website if you like. Um, it's from a brand called Aiba, but I really like them. The strap of the small classifier is a little bit shorter than the medium ones. Again, if you try to wear a crossbody, it's a little bit awkward of a length. But if you wear it just like this, which is my favorite way to wear, on one shoulder, it's the perfect length for a shoulder bag. So I guess we can take a look at the length of the bags. It's not too different, I think, in terms of length. The medium one is a tiny bit longer, but it's honestly pretty insignificant. So in terms of use case for the small classic flap, I have got my small classic flaps in brighter colors, I think. Um, that's... Oh, some... No! <laughs> that is my cat. She decided to enter the video. Okay, we're gonna have a cat in the background. Hope you guys are okay with that. It's back on to the topic. So in terms of use case for the small classic flap, I tend to use them for just day to day. I mean, it's a more colorful bag. The capacity is not that different from the medium classic flap. So the use case is pretty similar. It does fit a little bit less. I find that I have trouble fitting sunglasses into it if I'm going out for the day. But in terms of like other stuff, like your cell phone and stuff like that, like there is absolutely no problem there. Lastly, this is my square mini. I don't know if it's actually called a classic flap. I'm not quite sure, but it's a single flap bag for those of you that are curious. So I don't think it's part of the classic lineup, but it's a style of bag that Chanel has always done. In recent years, there's more innovative kind of design on this specific shape of bag. Like there's the ones with the golden circle there's also ones that are like quilted but yes anyways so this is the mini square there's also the mini rectangle which is a bit i think shorter and a bit wider the rectangle fits maybe a tiny bit more than the square and for most people if you have a bigger iphone like a iphone pro max then the um, square may have a bit of a hard time fitting your phone. Rectangular mini would be perfect for you. In terms of price point, because it's not a classic double flap handbag, um, it's cheaper than all of the other classic flap you've seen so far. So in terms of price point, it's great. So unlike the classic flap again, it's single flap, right, as you see. It's in a pearly white um, color and what are these called? So instead of being quilted, they're like things called chevron. She chevron, <laughs> excuse my pronunciation, which is like a V shape um, quilting on the back. But again, the quality of this one was pretty decent. Um, everything aligns like they should. Instead of being a double strapped bag it is just one singular long strap the strap is very long um, if i were it crossbody i do find it a little bit long it kind of dangles a bit lower than i prefer but again if you're taller that's a good bonus if you're shorter then that may be a point of concern for you but i still really like the overall size of the bag and the length of the strap what I usually do is I loop it around once. I take the strap that's coming through this hole and it's going across like this. And then when you close it, then you have a shorter strap. And then that way it kind of like shortens. And then if you actually pull on the metal top part on top, then you have a double strap shoulder bag. So it is a bit short of a strap like this, but it still works perfectly fine. In terms of use case, I use it a lot in the summer when I'm wearing dresses or white shirts. I think it goes really well with those elements. If we compare these two, their size and capacity is actually not that different. You can see this one, the square mini is a bit um, wider in terms of depth of the bag. And then this one is a bit narrower. 
Again, they look very different. Um, they definitely have a different aesthetic and they definitely look like they could fit a different amount of stuff, but in practice, they're quite similar in terms of their capacity. So in terms of weight, as you're going to see in the cutaway, the jumbo is definitely the heaviest of the four, just because of the sheer size of it and followed by the medium classic flap, the small classic flap and the square mini. Um, if weight is a big issue, definitely look into the smaller classic flaps rather than opting for the jumbo. But if you're looking for a big bag with great capacity, something more kind of cool or have a bit of a masculine feel, the jumbo is a great option. So moving on to talk a bit more about the current situation at Chanel with all of the price increases that have happened since 2019, so since COVID. Um, it's honestly quite a big disappointment to me at least because I find that even though the prices of Chanel has gone up tremendously, the quality has decreased. So that's kind of one of the reasons I haven't shopped at Chanel for the past year. For me, I've always really loved Chanel. Chanel is, as you can see, probably the earliest brand I um, have bought into. I have also lots of ready-to-wear pieces from them. I love their classic kind of blazer. Their tweed blazers are my favorite. But unfortunately, in terms of quality of leather goods, quality of ready-to-wear, everything just kind of have decreased over the past few years. The design and to me is also less appealing um, and the quality of the handbags are honestly just not a match to their current price point. I did a quick calculation, I'll show you guys on the screen, but since 2019, Chanel prices have increased anywhere from 50 to like 80%. Like that's absolutely absurd. Like I understand that it's a marketing strategy or Chanel is trying to combat inflation, to adjust their price point. The price increases I think needs to correlate in some small degrees to the quality of the products and unfortunately instead of just maintaining like at minimum maintaining the quality of the leather goods they have deteriorated so last time i've gone into a chanel boutique was last year during christmas i saw some beautiful pieces i bought some stuff as well but when i was looking at the handbags um, all of the classic flaps or the square mini or the rectangle mini they've brought out to show me had some kind of default. Either the coating is not perfectly lined up, the flap is tilted, the hardware is tilted, like just all of these things that I just can't really tolerate if I'm paying such a big premium for their handbags to have so many quality issues. Even though that there is a more of a guarantee and Chanel aftercare system in place, it still doesn't make it all right for so many kind of default product to come to the market. So that's kind of how I feel about the brand. There's definitely new things that they're putting out, like new bags, like the new Hobo bag collection that I really like, but I just can't bring myself to buy it at that price point, knowing all of the quality issues it's probably going to have. In summary, from my point of view, I would say if you're looking to buy a bag from Chanel right now, maybe start with more of the seasonal pieces. So I think Chanel still put out great, very cute and adorable seasonal pieces that have those classic elements of Chanel, but not that ridiculous premium. But if your goal is to get that one special bag from Chanel or that one classic bag from Chanel, the classic flag is still an obvious choice. And out of all the classic flag I've shown today, I would say that the medium classic flag is still the most classic and timeless piece um, I would recommend you to go for if that is something you absolutely want to add to your collection but again that's my personal stance on this matter i don't really recommend anyone going and buying classic flaps brand new from the boutique anymore unless there's a color 
you really like or you just absolutely need a classic flapping collection, there's always another route to go down, which is to the resell and pre-love market. I think on there you're still gonna find some excellent buys and bags with better quality, frankly, because the older bags are just made better. For me, I don't foresee myself ever buying another classic flap. It's truly unfortunate because I think a business strategy has unfortunately turned me very much away from a brand that I really enjoy and really love. Um, and it's just truly a tragedy, but that's kind of how life is, right? You fall in and out of love with a brand because of their decisions and in fashion everything is still a business even though we may love the story the brand tell even though we may love the symbols the feeling these pieces of beautiful handbags bring us that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions and you want me to do any comparisons between the classic flaps between the chanel bags or between the chanel and hermes bag definitely leave them in the comment section down below and I will for sure do them in the future. This may be my last video for the year, I'm not sure. I think maybe next week we might have another video, but I think that's all for, for now. Yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for coming on board on my little journey here on YouTube. Everyone in the community has just been so sweet. So thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for subscribing and staying till the end. But yeah, that's all for today's video. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys hopefully next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.